Hello, 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 uh, Gemini Cancer Cuspa. How are you all doing? Welcome to my channel, Gemini Cancer Cusp. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I am Tierica Love, y'all. Hi. Okay, Gemini Cancer Cusp or Cross Cross Watchers. Um. We're going to do a 12 house energy read for you all for the month of March, okay? Um, you all, I have to put out a little warning here. Um, these readings, it's a general read, right? We're going to do a general reading for you all. But as we clarify the energy or as we're clarifying the messages, then we're going to get some love messages here, okay? So it's going to be a general turn into a love. Um, that's what it's going to be. You know, Tierra love. We're all about love. I try. I try really hard, but I noticed in my first video, I'm like, a uh, general. And then when we clarify, just turn into, like, love messages for you all, okay? All right, so, but as you all know, these will be general, me general messages. They may or may not resonate with all of you beautiful individuals, okay? If you find messages here that resonate, please feel free to take them with you. If you find messages here that does not resonate with you at all, then just please do leave them here on the table to allow someone to pick them up that they will resonate with, okay? All right, so what we got here, you all. This is your overall energy for the month of March. Also, um, with this energy, there's going to be a uh, affirmation connected to this um, to this here. So I'm going to give you all the affirmation as well for the month of March. All right, so let's get started. Okay, you have the Knight of Cups here. Okay, so Gemini, Cancer, Cusp, you all are in this energy. You ready to offer somebody your cup of love here? Okay. You got the Knight of Cups here, Pisces energy. Let me read you all's affirmation. So, your affirmation. I fall in love with falling in love. And love falling into it with every tiny miracle I stumble upon. Okay? I fall in love with falling in love. And love falling into it with every tiny miracle miracle i stumble upon okay all right so let's get this romance deck here and get you all some messages okay uh gemini cancer cusp for the month of march gemini cancer cusp for the month of march okay you got butterflies you give me butterflies okay got butterflies here so, enjoy the overwhelming excitement and bliss of new or old love here. So, for some of you all, you got someone new coming in. For some of you all, um, this person that you have been dealing with, it, they give you butterflies here. You ready to offer your cup of love here, okay? Also, you have missed chances, all right? So... Have you considered all your options? Did you give it everything? In the end, we only regret the chances that we didn't take here. Okay? So, don't miss out on these chances here, Gemini Cancer Cusp. Okay? Don't, um, yeah, that's when you regret some things. When you don't put your all into, um, yourself first and then the situation here. Okay? So, if you got someone coming in. Um, and they're offering their cup of love here. You might want to be mindful of that. Don't miss out on these chances here. Uh, Gemini Cancer Cusp. Okay. So let's jump into. Let's jump into these 12 houses. Okay. Alright. So the first house here. Your self identity. Your appearance here. Gemini Cancer Cusp. Alright. First house here. Um, you have the Four of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy. So when it comes to your personality, your appearance here, you are being too frivolous or too cautious with your feelings here or with your money because it is the Pentacles, okay? Um, good, business, good business decisions 
need to be made here at this time and try giving to those less fortunate okay all right so let's look at the second house which is your values and your possession you are valuing love right now at this time you got the queen of cups scorpio energy here um so you are divide you are valuing someone that is patient loving empathetic and tender-hearted here okay um your possessions and your value you are valuing a relationship valuing relationships that develop to a new level you have to trust your intuition here and remember to care for yourself and others okay now let's look at the third house with your communication okay could be communication issues or just communication period here you have the ace of air gemini aquarius libra energy here all right so you're going to be gaining some clarity here in the month of march uh gemini cancer cusp coming up with new brilliant ideas and feeling inspired here okay maybe um in the month of march you're going to be able to see the truth in a situation all right and you could be moving towards a challenging uh beginning here okay so the fourth house here with your home, everything that provides you with emotional security, you have the page of cups. All right. So um, this is a receiving a message in regards to love here. Okay. Uh, when it comes to everything that provides you with emotional security, um, a new person might come in. You have a new person entering your life. A relationship begins a new phase here. In, in the month of March, you could have heightened psych abilities, all right? Um, really being able to tap into your intuition, okay? Okay. All right. So, let's uh, look at the fifth house here. This is your self-expression, your fun, your pleasure here. Okay. So, you have the two of air, all right? So, when it comes to you expressing yourself, when it comes to what brings, what um, is fun here, or what brings in fun here, you and this person, or you, could be you battling with yourself, okay? But you're being able or unwilling to make a decision. This is causing a stalemate situation or causing stalemate energy within you here, okay? Um, you could be pretending that there is no problem as well. So when it comes to your self-expression here, I guess you have to figure out, you know, um, be, you have to make a decision before you express here what you're wanting, okay? All right, now let's look at the sixth house. When it comes to your work, your habits, you have balance here, okay? So there is a need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise here. And you also have to wait for a perfect time in here. So if you want any support or help from others here, there needs to be a more balance here between you and this person that you're connecting with or individuals, okay? All right. Now let's look at the seventh house here. This is your relationships, all types of relationships here, okay? Seventh house for a Gemini Cancer cusp. For the month of March here, you have the Three of Earth. So that is Capricorn Energy. Uh, this is the power of creativity. Being recognized for your very high quality work here. All right. And your relationships. Okay. And you want to be more of a team player as well. All right. Gemini Cancer Cusp. Okay. And being this energy of wanting to create. Okay. Growth. Creativity. All right. All right, now the eighth house here. This is transformations, endings. Um, if you're dealing with some loss of some sort here, know that you are overcoming difficulties here. Things are starting to look up. You are, this is approaching the end of a difficult situation here. The six of air is Aquarius energy, okay? Now let's look at the ninth house. This is your spirituality. 
We have the Six of Cups. Scorpio, energy here, okay? So when it comes to your spirituality, when it comes to um, you connecting with your higher self, uh, hopefulness here, you are romanticizing here about the past, okay? You could be dealing with some issues regarding children or issues from when you were a child here. Okay, with the Six of Cups. All right, we're going to clarify. Well, let's look at the 10th house. This is your accomplishments, uh, your career, your social standing here. Okay, you got the King of Pentacles, Capricorn energy again. So when it comes to your accomplishments, when it comes to your career, your reputation, you're very generous here. Uh, people view you as someone who is responsible, someone who is professional. All right. This is a successful time with for you and your career. You want to confidently accept opportunities that you are being offered. Okay. Know that you have the Midas touch here. All right. Now, let's look at your friendships here, your, your relationships. What's best for the whole here? Okay, the 11th house, 11, 11, how have y'all said, 11, okay, 11, 11, all right, 11th house here, <laughs> so, uh, Gemini Cancer cuss, 11th house here, okay, oh, you got the Knight of um, Pentacles, Virgo energy here, okay, so again, when it comes to your your um, friendships, groups here, okay? They see you as someone who is loyal, uh, dedicated, someone who is kind and honorable here, okay? It's time for you all to buckle down and get things done. You have to honor your commitments, okay? All right, and let's look at the 12th house here. Okay, so in the 12th house here, which is maybe secrets or um, healing abilities, your intuitive mind here. You have the Seven of Pentacles, which is Taurus energy. All right. You have a lot of earth energy here. Okay. But with the Seven of Pentacles, seeds are well planted. There is a temporary pause in action, but there is no need to worry here. Okay. All right. So let's clarify um, this energy for you all. Gemini Cancer Cusp. Okay. All right. Let's clarify this being too frivolous or too cautious here. With your time, your energy, and your money, okay? You got divinely guided, all right? So you have met your divine flame. Just follow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine timing, all right? Okay, so right now you are being divinely guided, all right? Now let's clarify these relationships uh, developed to a new level. This queen of cups here. The trust in your intuition. Okay, you have back and forth here. All right. So they are trying to make sense of this connection. Maybe that is you trying to make sense of this connection. But your emotion swings back and forth between two extremes here. Okay. All right. So let's clarify this. A brilliant new ideas and inspirations for the third house here. Seeing the truth in the situation. For Gemini Cancer. Cuss third house all right you have game over here okay so they fear your wrath they know you're no longer entertaining their half-hearted effort here okay so um either you're tired of putting up with someone just not even putting in 50 percent or um they are tired here okay all right all right, so the Page of Cups here. Let's clarify this new person entering your life. All right, so you have lustful desires, okay? So there is a difference between love and lust. Don't let your desire destroy you. Overcome the spirit of lust here, okay? So that Page of Cups, all right? Um, it could be receiving a message about 
love here, but would have been a page. Um, could be coming from someone who's a bit younger or someone who is immature here or, okay. All right. Now let's look at this two of air with it, with you all being unable or unwilling to make a decision. You have unexpected here. All right. The answers you seek are coming. But when the answers arrive, it might be too late or you have moved on. All right. So when you all are able to make a decision, I don't know when this person is able, it might be too late here. But the answers is coming. Okay. You also have missing you. So their life feels empty without you. They miss you more than words can say, but they think it's too late to fix things here. All right. So, um, yep. Now let's look at this balance here. The need to balance, the need for balance and moderation. Okay. You have stone here. So they are emotionally unavailable. It is for your highest good to move on and find your happiness. All right. So this person right now is emotionally unavailable. Okay. The three of earth here, the power of creativity. Tell us more. Which is three of pentacles here. All right. You have beauty and grace. So they find you extremely beautiful, but your beauty intimidates them. They think someone else is more deserving here. All right. So this person that you're pretty much, um, I'm getting, they not on your level, Gemini Cancel Cusp or vice versa. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm just saying emotionally, someone here has to mature and grow. Okay. Now the six of air, things are looking up. Tell us more here about this six of air. Oh, all right. So you have the witch here, okay? So they see how powerful and magical you are. And sometimes they wonder if you have them under a love spell here, Gemini, Cancer, Cusp. Also endings. So they enter your life to test you, teach you, and bring out the very best in you. Now they're part in your life. Or, or your story is over, okay? So that's you overcoming, just overcome these difficulties here. You are ending a difficult situation. It could be with this person that was emotionally distant here from you, going back and forth with you, um, with their feelings here, all right? Okay, um, not offering you the full cup of love, all right? So let's, Keep going. Let's clarify the Six of Cups. Okay, you have family tree here. So there's cultural differences between you and your person. Different values, beliefs, or traditions that pose a challenge to this connection. So you and this person, um, there's some cultural differences here with you and this person that you could be reminiscing about, uh, reminiscing over the past here okay now let's look at the king of earth here a successful time you on your career having this Midas touch and your reputation the 10th house here clarify all right you have choices here okay so there is a choice they have to make they know it's not on their side. Well, they know time is not on their side and risk losing you forever if they don't, all right? So this person that you're dealing with, they know there is some choices that needs to be made here, okay? They have to confidently accept opportunities that they're being offered here, okay? So it's time for you all to make a choice, all right? All right, now let's look at this um, Knight of Pentacles here. It's time for you all to buckle down and get things done, okay? Because someone here is broken, all right? So they feel broken inside and don't feel stable enough to trust themselves with your heart at this time. You have to be patient, okay? Um, someone has to allow a healing to take place, okay? Honor your commitments, which is you, yourself. You are your commitment at this time, okay? 
All right, now the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. So you have divine intervention here. All right. So they are experiencing many tower moments in their life where it helps them gain clarity on this connection. So someone here is going through a divine intervention, but it's going to help you to gain some clarity, you or your um, love interest, your person here. Okay. Let's clarify one more time. Tell us more here about this, uh, the first house. That's too many. Give us a message here for the first house. All right. You have lust here. Okay. So lust there, lustful desires. You want to make sure that um, you're following your heart and not uh, just acting off what you feel physically here. Okay. Now the second house here. Give us a message for the second house. Planning ahead, all right? So in order for you all to be able to plan ahead, um, know that divine timing is aligned, but again, someone has to gain control of their emotions here, okay? All right. Okay, the third house here with the game is over. All right, you have yes here, okay? So, someone could possibly be seeing the truth in the situation here, okay? Um, it could be a challenging new beginning with you and someone new or you and this person here, okay? Because they know you're no longer going to put up with these efforts. But with you putting your foot down um, and you standing for what you believe in, then... Eventually, you're going to get what you want, okay? I'm not saying from this person, maybe someone else, okay? All right? Um, or you this going to help this person gain clarity, okay? Now, here in the fourth house here, you have social media. So, once someone is watching your social media, maybe you're watching your person on social media. It's a bit of a stalking type of energy here. So... You could have someone new that is watching you, okay? Okay? But with this lustful desires in the middle, I don't... Uh, hmm. Uh, yeah. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe the person that is watching you is... Um, not only are they watching you, they're lusting here over you. They're stalking you here. It's some type of... Uh, purification that needs to take place here. Okay? Alright, so let's keep going. The unexpected and missing you here. You have children. So children are important here. Uh, maybe you all are unable to come up with a decision when it comes to uh, maybe children here. Okay? Uh, all right. Maybe unexpected here. Unexpectedly going to hear some news in regards of some children. Okay. Or a child. All right. So let's look at the stone here. Tell us more. Okay. So there are some things that you all have to sit down and communicate about. Okay. You have to communicate um, your emotions. All right, maybe communicate with this person because the communication emotionally here um, and the communication there needs to be balance. All right, balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise. Okay, all right, now the beauty and grace here with the seventh house. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, you have arguments here. So, there could be some disagreements, arguments here between you and your person for the month of March. You want to make sure you just, um, maybe don't talk so much. You can't over talk each other because then you all won't be able to hear each other during these, uh, conversations that you all have with the hopes of fixing things, okay? All right, now the eighth house here. Okay, stand by me. So someone is wanting 
You don't want to leave this person's side here or this person is not wanting to leave here. Okay. Um... All right, so I don't know. I don't know. All right, okay. This family tree, <laughs> you got divine feminine. So when it comes, it's it's not Taylor. The ninth house here, your spirituality. You want to continue to um, step into your power here. Be the divine feminine that you are. Or um, yep. Okay, just. Just yeah. All right. Now, sorry, y'all. Tenth house here. Gemini <laughs> cancer cuz. Okay. My adult ADHD that kicked in. I'm ready to get up and run around. Okay. Let's finish this here. Okay. So, tenth house here. You have to choose love. That's the choices that needs to be made. Someone here has to choose love. Okay. Eleventh house here with your uh, friendships. This broken, okay. Give us a message here for the eleventh house for Gemini Cancer Cuss. Clarify. All right. Okay. So you have true love here. So I'm getting for some of you all this person that you're dealing with. Um, you feel this is your true love. Um, the feelings that you have for this person is a mutual here. Someone could be dealing with um, this lust energy here. And maybe you all are having a hard time with communicating. Okay. So we have to find a better way to communicate your needs and your wants. Okay. All right. And let's look at this 12th house. Okay. So you have a happy ever after. Okay. So there's a divine intervention that someone here is going through right now at this time, but there is no need, no need to worry, unnecessary worry. Um, there's a temporary pause, okay, when it comes to this happy ever after, all right? You got to allow that uh, awakening to take place, okay? So let me give you all a healing message. Let's get you all a healing message here. Gemini Cancer Cusp. All right. I keep hearing Taurus. Some of you all could be dealing with a Taurus. Okay. So you have betrayal here and revealed. Okay. So the situation will reveal to you the intention behind it. Whether it's you betraying yourself in some way or another person or situation. By unmasking the truth, by removing any blinders that hinder knowing the answer brings clarity. Okay. All right. Whew. So these are your messages here for the month of March. Uh, Gemini Cancer Cusp. I really hope that they will be helpful. Thank you all so much for joining me. I salute the divinity in you all. I am sending you all so much love, so much light, so much positivity. I will see you all next time. Okay. Bye.